Yips ahoy, viewers! Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Assassin's Creed Black Flag video. And this is showing you how to exploit fast travel and, well, explaining why unlocking locations and viewpoints are extremely important because then you can exploit the fast travel. After I had found the last uncharted treasure chest, I decided I was going to raid a warehouse to help fund the um, building of the Jackdaw. And, well, it happened to be in Kingston where I had raided before. And this time, after I had found the uncharted, the last uncharted treasure chest, which I'm showing you right now, and receiving no reward, well, yeah, I'm going to travel to Kingston, exploiting the fast travel, and raid a warehouse with the help of the beloved Berserker Dart and the hilarity that usually ensues. So, climb aboard, viewers. We are going to go to Kingston next and rob a warehouse. Once I was on the Jackdaw, I decided I was going to rob a warehouse. I searched around and then I went to Kingston where the next mission was going to start, possibly. And then I found the warehouse was full. And as you see, I highlighted the viewpoint and I just fast traveled right to that viewpoint next to that warehouse. And now I can sneak in and rob the place and locate the key holder, the guy in gold. And now I'm going to jump over and start having fun with the Berserker darts and watch the hilarity ensue. As you can see, if you Berserker Dart the right guy, he's going to potentially eliminate all of the threats to Kenway, and he can just find the key holder, kill him, and take the key. So let's see what other chaos can be caused, and see where things will lead. One of the things that can hurt you is once a bunch of guys are starting to go crazy and berserk and fighting each other, somebody gets the idea that, oh, we might have a possible intruder, and they ring the alarm bell, and, well, you don't get the bonus money for um, raiding a warehouse and not causing alarm. But to be honest with you, that can be kind of worth losing with all the hilarity that ensues when you shoot guys with berserker darts and they start running after each other and killing each other and you don't have to fight them.
As I have said in other videos, the Berserker Dart is lethal, so anyone who's shot with it will die eventually. Um, you can just wind up having to be patient, or you can exploit it and uh, use a sleep dart or just shoot them if you can do so outright, because they are neutralized in a sense to your presence while you have hit them with the berserker dart and let's see if i can get one of these guys here After a nice, fulfilling air assassination, I'm going to take my time and, well, you know, loot some corpses. It always helps. And I can see if I can assassinate the key holder. He wasn't too keen on my whistling for him, so, yeah, I'll let him walk around and find out if I can strike from another area. Again, I'm going to loot some corpses first, and there's a guy somewhere. Ah, he's seen me, he's coming at me, and yeah, I gotta fight him. Since the key holder is following a specific path, uh, I could probably exploit that, maybe kill him here in the barn, or wait in the weeds here, and just outright jump him and assassinate him. Everyone else is, well, eliminated because of berserker darts. I'm going to... Uh, I think just ambush the key holder. I could blow him up with a barrel, shoot him, anything. He's the last guy, and he doesn't seem to mind having corpses around. With that done, grab the key and time to loot the warehouse and get some... Oh, there's a guy up there, a guard. Hmm. You know, if you sleep dart him, uh, eh, I'll berserker dart him and neutralize him, or he's a little too far away. Uh, there we go, I got him. He's going to take those guys down. Uh, that'll be interesting to watch. Shot. 
In my sights, clear as day. He's dead in me sights. The last guy is dead, and, well, I'm going to go loot some corpses and then rob the warehouse. Um, as I've shown you in the fast travel, when you unlock viewpoints, you can travel from city to city, viewpoint to viewpoint, from your ship to a viewpoint within the game, and not have to take that long journey or sail. Hence, uh, getting all the viewpoints uh, synchronized, etc. This is a very, very valuable tool, and you should use it as well as looting warehouses. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, just showing you some little nifty features in Assassin's Creed Black Flag that you can exploit for quicker gameplay. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave some comments. I love it when people leave comments. I respond to them. If you like this type of video, I post four a week, and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button. And then that bell icon, and you will be notified when I post videos. You don't have to watch them when they can't come out. You can watch them at your leisure. And I really appreciate the subscriptions. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.